Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today on Tips and Techniques, I wanna talk about how to get pizza dough to slide off your peel with ease, also known as the launch. Now one of the things that folks struggle with when they're first getting into making pizzas at home is getting that pizza raw and assembled either from your workspace or your peel into the oven. Now, this is the process that we call the launch. Now the launch, there's a lot of things that go into a successful launch uh, and we're gonna try and cover those today but I wanna make it easy. You're here to figure out one thing and that's just how to get a raw pizza into the oven so you can enjoy it here in a little bit. Now the first place we gotta start is with the dough. Now the dough itself is very important. You gotta use the right recipe for your dough, the right type of dough for what you're doing. And we've shot an entire video on this already, which you can go and check out. We'll put the link in the video description, how to make pizza dough. It's the exact same dough that we're gonna be using today. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the peel. Now this is how you actually transfer your pizza from the work surface or from the peel itself into the oven. And you either have your choice of a metal or a wooden one. Uh, this is bamboo. This one is the metal one that I use most often. Now scientifically, you could say that uh, because of the grains in the wood, there is less friction and resistance which would make the wood peel easier to launch a pizza. But at the same time, you'll notice how thick that is. You've got quite a drop off which can be a little bit tricky. So I actually really enjoy using a metal peel, nice and thin. Uh, when it's properly floured up, it slides off really nicely. The only problem with this is, this peel gets hot when you put it inside the oven and then you can't launch a second pizza on a hot peel. Now temperature is key, and not just with the peel itself, but also with the dough. The dough should be coming out of the refrigerator if you want the least amount of trouble. The warmer it gets, the stickier it gets, let's just stay away from that. Now the peel itself, if it's metal, it's gonna warm up when you put that pizza in. It's gonna warm up when you take it out. So you never wanna slide a pizza out of the oven that's cooked and start building a raw one on a hot peel because it for sure will stick. So either have two peels like we do here or start with a wooden peel for your launch and finish with a metal peel to pull it out. Now the next thing to talk about is flouring the peel. And this is how you're gonna make sure that your dough moves. Now you've got a few different options. This is just your typical double lot pizza flour that you can flour with. This is your semolina flour, which is slightly more coarse, uh, but also very commonly used for flouring pizza peels and in pasta making. And then you get more coarse into like cornmeal and stuff like that. I don't like to mess with that. Use something thin like this. Now flour is a bit finer, but if you use the right amount, it's perfect for getting a pizza to launch. And this is what I'm talking about. The surface should be covered, but not caked on, because this stuff, it will burn in the oven if you put too much on, and you'll notice it. So you gotta have a nice middle ground, enough to keep the dough moving, but not so much that you're gonna taste burnt flour. And I'm a fan of semolina, but if you don't have it, you don't need it. Don't worry about it. It's a great tool, but flour will work just as well. What we wanna talk about next is building your pizza on a peel versus on a work surface and then having to shoot the peel underneath to move it. Now obviously that sounds like a lot more work so my preference is just to build it right here on the peel. The only reason you really wouldn't want to do this is if you're working with a peel that's just pulled a warm pizza out and the peel is still warm. So we'll press this out a little bit and get a good stretch on it. Obviously we've got tons of pizza videos you guys can go check out. Uh, all kinds of different recipes and options give you some ideas to experiment with. Put a little border on here for the crust, and then I'm just gonna stretch it. Should be nice and thin. So little hacks, uh, one that I learned working at a pizza restaurant years ago is if you wanna reduce the amount of friction on your peel, you can always put a little air underneath it. Now this does make it a little harder to build, but it is a hack. If you're doing things right, you probably don't need this. What you need to see is that it's moving around really nice and easy. And then one of the other key, very important steps in this is work quickly. When it comes to getting the pizza off the peel, a couple of your biggest enemies are time and temperature. You want to keep everything as cold as possible and you want to work as quickly as possible. And especially for a pizza in this style, you don't want to really overload it with toppings or you're gonna risk you know, losing some of them during the launch. So keep that in mind. We all learn the hard way how much we can fit on a pizza. But starting with that in mind will help you out. 
just doing a very basic uh, low moisture mozzarella pepperoni cup pizza here. Cook quickly. Classic. And I'm going to work as fast as I can. If ever you see like us struggle with this in a video, it's oftentimes because we're shooting photos of this while we're in between stuff, we go too slow. If you just work at a quicker pace, there's a good chance you're gonna be successful. So today we're gonna to be cooking these pizzas on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill with the Yoder Smokers wood fired oven attached. We're running it at 550 degrees, so this would be a quick cook. I'm gonna make sure we got a clean stone to work with. We'll brush any uh, excess stuff off to the side and then the actual launch itself now do you go really quick and shoot it off no i would say especially as you're getting started you just want to kind of shimmy it make sure it's moving and then once it takes grip and about a third of it's off i'll just pull the whole thing out now, the longest part of pretty much any cook is that first part before you spin it the first time you have to make sure that that crust is getting set on the bottom it's already looking good before you can spin it to brown on the other sides. Uh, a little pizza turner just like this one makes it a lot easier than using a full peel. Looking good. Next we're going to talk about actually building the pizza on your work surface here and then shooting the peel underneath it to transfer. Now this is a little bit more difficult and you absolutely don't want to do this with large pizzas with lots of toppings. Save that for the peel or even for a pan. But for what we're talking about here, a small pizza will shoot pretty easily onto, or a peel will shoot pretty easily underneath it, I should say. So we'll do the same pizza here again, going fairly light on the sauce and the toppings. But that's just this style of pizza. Again, if you want to load up a pizza with tons of toppings, do it in a pan or at least on a large peel where you've got a shot at getting it off. Do that same low moisture mozzarella. You could use fresh mozzarella here. It's gonna get a little bit soggier if you do. And again, we're working quickly here because the longer it sits, the more likely it is to stick. But our dough's cool enough and it's cool enough outside right now that I'm not worried about it. Give one side a lift and then just shoot straight underneath. Make sure it's dancing around. And if it's not, if you're seeing a spot that's sticking, so you got a spot over here that's sticking, grab a little flour, lift it up and throw it underneath. This looks good. Let's head over to the oven. Again, we'll give it a little shimmy until it starts to stick and then just Straight out. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, as I've mentioned, if you want to build a larger pizza, the best way to do it is on a large metal peel because you're already ready to go off the peel. We'll make this thing just about as big as the peel itself. Now, ideally, you still wouldn't load this up with a ton of toppings but we'll kind of test the limits here and see what we can get away with. That way you guys can get a visual for what's maybe a little bit more than, a, than what you need topping wise on a pizza and how that affects the launch. We're gonna load, th load this pizza up with quite a bit more toppings than what we have been doing. Again, just to get a decent visual on it. Also going all the way to the edges, which is a little bit risky because you may catch some of these edges. In fact, we might even see if we can't do that. Still moving, but we're losing toppings. And this is one of the dangers of adding too many toppings is they want to move around on you. Let's head to the oven. All right, so we're going to be a little bit more careful here, working a little bit slower. It just needs a little bit of inertia to get off. But once again, once that grabs, pretty easy just to slide that whole thing off. So it's not that you can't make a big pizza, it just takes a little more practice. Now let's say that we had dumped part of this pizza on the way in. I'm gonna see if I can screw this up on purpose so we can talk about how to fix it. A lot of times this lip wants to catch, especially if you don't come in flat. 
if you come in high and then come down on top of it, oh crap, I just dumped my pizza. Just keep going with it. Get it off the peel, let it sit there for a minute, and even though it's gonna be a bit messy in the back, this pizza can be salvaged. I just give it about 30 seconds until you can actually get underneath it. Ah, it's still sticking in the middle. We gotta give this a little bit of time for the bottom to set up before we can fix this. All right, 10 more seconds was enough. So once you get to that trouble spot, you're just gonna try and work your peel underneath it until it shakes free, like that. And then you'll see where the mess up was, where you drop that front lip. Happens all the time. It's gonna happen to you. Don't stress about it. Let's get the stuff off the de deck that's stuck to it, or at least push to the back where it's not going to affect the cook. We can clean that up later. We got all that out of there. And then once you've got a clean deck to work with, just slide it back in there and cook it as normal. So there you go. You got one messed up edge on the back side, but for the most part, still a great pizza. Hopefully this handful of tips and techniques will help you guys become successful at launching your own pizzas. Just keep in mind, cold is good. Cold dough and a cool peel. Semolina or flour, either way is gonna work great. Be generous with it, but not so heavy handed that you're gonna taste the burnt flour in the end. Smaller pizzas are always easier with fewer toppings to launch. So start there and work your way up to more complicated pizzas. And finally, quicker is better. Always work as quick as you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.